Hey guys, this is Mr. Gadget Mix, and today I'm going to talk about the battery drain issue and the overheating issue that is plaguing the new just launched Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as well as Note 20 Ultra. And this issue is mainly prevalent in the Exynos variant. So these are sold in uh, the countries like which are not in the North American region and the countries. Uh, where Samsung likes to push the crappy Exynos variants. So uh, you can go to the Samsung members app and you can see the vast majority of complaints. You can see this one for instance. Uh, this says my phone battery is draining very fast while using and when it is on idle mode too. I have seen on internet many people are facing this problem. Please tell me there is a solution. I'm very disappointed by the battery of the phone. So he has just bought a Galaxy Note 20 and the battery is running very fast. And this is a known issue of the Exynos variant. And I don't know why Samsung continues to push this, the Exynos in, you know, in non-US countries. All the top reviewers are from the US and Canada and that is why they are not aware of the issues so I myself own a Galaxy Note 9 and I had actually booked pre-booked a Note 20 after reading these things um, I've cancelled it you know you should always go to the forums and check the initial reviews um, I'm totally happy with my Note 9 and let me show you some more complaints see this one um, battery heating very dangerous and draining very fast so bought note 22 days ago from day one I'm having issues with the battery uh, device heating like hell the battery drains very quickly my screen on time is just 2 hours 52 minutes that's horrible for a new phone I mean my note 9 is 1.5 years old and I get about three and a half to four hours and I'll be honest with you I don't game on my phone at all and I've got an Exynos variant but I love it if I have a brand new phone whose battery health is totally top notch right now it's fresh it's just out from the factory and I'm getting like three hours oh, I'll be flipping mad and I'll be like super angry you have spent nearly um, $1,300 which is like 1.1 lakhs in Indian rupees so he, sp he says it there I spent 1 lakh 5,000 bucks on this bleep you know what bleep means here Please friends, don't waste your money on this garbage. Even mid-range phones have better battery. Exynos processor is garbage. You know, I, I little bit disagree on this. Um, my mother has a Galaxy M30 and she has fabulous battery and it is running the Exynos processor. The thing here is the mid-range Exynos processors are awesome. They provide excellent value for money. However, when you are comparing them to you know top tier product processors like exynos uh, like the snapdragon 855 865 865 plus the exynos 990 which is the top of the line it just doesn't hold anything against the snapdragon variants they are just way too powerful but on the top of it they are way too efficient um they are i think made using five nanometer tech processing while the uh, Exynos is like eight or nine, so they are already uh, like three to four years behind. And I don't know why Samsung continues to push the Exynos variants. And I've also heard that they're using the poorer uh, thermal uh, process, the, the entire thing, which is used to cool down the uh, processor. They're using the inferior one on the Exynos they should be using the superior one on the Exynos because that is the one that is generating more heat compared to the Snapdragon ones I mean let's look at this Exynos cannot handle anything poor chipset on a very expensive phone here's what I think Samsung should have done they should have given uh, the people in, in the non-american nations like three to four hundred dollars 
off of what they are charging uh, in the US and other countries where you're getting Snapdragon and they should have put a better cooling system. So this guy is telling him to use the phone in optimized mode. I mean, you have bought, a, you have bought something which is top of the range and you are expecting the best performance. You don't want to make any compromise. I am right now using my Note 9 in 4K resolution because I have a phone with four, uh, not 4K but 3K resolution. If my phone has 3K resolution, I want to use it at 3K resolution. No less than that. Just look at this. I mean, uh, some 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 people are having the green out issues already. Let's look at this. Oh, this guy is posting some pictures. Um, upgrade to Note 20. Okay, he's talking about some offer. This guy again. Uh, so this, this is a different guy. I purchased Note 20 Ultra yesterday and went through the mobile for checking. Found heating issue and fast discharging the battery when I use camera. Please fix the issue, Samsung. Sorry, dude, but you should have. You should have known about this because this is the same process which is used in S20. So they have not done shit. They should have worked on at least, they should have improved the cooling system. God, I mean, if you spend, if you spend so much on the phone and um, these things are happening, my condolences to you. And here's the thing, unlike in US where you can just simply return the phone and get the money back here, you can't do that. In countries like India, you have to just uh, send this device to the service center and they will sort this issue out and then you have to wait for two or three weeks and then they sort out the issue and maybe if you are super lucky you will get a replacement device hey but here's the funny shit the replacement device is again going to run the axonauts and you will soon run into the same problem again so i think the samsung should at least improve the cooling system um yeah, one more uh, I don't know why the top influencers are not talking about it. Be I think because they have the Snapdragon variants and they are super amazing. They are super cool. Samsung Galaxy Note Ultra Heating and Battery Drain. Hello, just purchased a brand new Note and its battery is draining fast, getting heat up a, a lot, not able to hold it, specifically during taking pictures and videos. Note 10 never heated up this much. Same phone overheat specifically using camera within two minutes of usage. That sucks, man. Think about the condition if it runs on 5G. Now, here's the funny shit. India does not have 5G and God knows what will happen on the phone once they start using 5G. I mean, they can, prop, I think, perhaps make an omelet over this phone. Damn, man. If I, if I just and thirteen hundred dollars and my phone starts doing like like that I, God, God knows what I will do I have a note 9 and I'm totally happy with it it doesn't overheat yes it has three and a half hour SOT screen on time but I'm totally happy with it Jesus Christ updates will not solve it this Exynos chipset is to blame yeah the software updates will not update the damn hardware people need to know this 36 person gone in 3 R is actually good for 6.9 inch screen, 36 is decent. So mine lost 3 hours of net and call though in camera was not used. So yeah, this is bad. I mean, if you're just using it for plain web browsing and calls, so using 36 person is a lot. So throttling is again going to happen a lot if you are if you just bought the phone for doing high end stuff like, uh, you know, playing 4 3K games at higher resolution. Uh, using the phone at a higher refresh rate and these things start happening to you uh, uh, I would be super angry it will slow down the phone my note 20 ultra seems to be draining faster than my note 9 so this is why I cancel the pre-order I wanted to upgrade from note 9 to note 20 ultra because I wanted that 5g the note 20 exynos variant where I live do not give you the 5g and i want a phone with that is future proof if i'm spending thousand dollars i want it to be future proof i don't like that when samsung deliberately omits some features 
from some of their phones that cost like thousand dollars so i they were just pushing us to go for the note 20 ultra and i wanted to buy the note 20 ultra i had prepared my mind like god damn i'm going to spend 300 dollars but when i went to samsung members app and when i saw these things i it flipped me and i was like hey i'm not going to spend that much hit the funny shit samsung is not even replying to any of these threads and these are the official forms so they are well aware of this and they don't want to admit the mistakes they are doing because they don't care the top influencers are from usc and canada you know the Liu laters guy he's i respect him but he got to have hands on on the exynos variant and talk about it because this is getting out of hand hell they will create they will sell no 21 with this damn exynos 998 next year and nobody will complain if we don't if we don't complain about it if we don't speak up about it samsung samsung will not do anything the european people and the asian people except the south korean people who are getting the snapdragon we guys are going to suffer forever for eternity and we need to speak up we are spending the same amount of money that the north americans are spending and we are human beings we deserve to be treated equally so i'm saying if you cannot make high performance chipsets stop selling inferior stuff and if you're selling inferior stuff reduce the damn price give us 20 30 percent discount at least 30 percent would make us happy hope you like this video give this video a like and make sure you share it on social media that's all i want from you guys nothing else bye bye